was this shooting really in self-defense? And I think that's what the case is ultimately going to boil down to. Mm -hmm. And you know, you and I were talking earlier today about this stand your ground law, and that happens to be the subject of a column I'm, I'm writing for this week. Um, and a, as it turns out, since this law passed in, in 2005, the number of justified homicides in the state of Florida has gone up si significantly. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the big problems with the law is that it's so broadly applied that one man's interpretation of his life being in danger may not be the interpretation someone else has. And this you know, allows someone to make judgments in this case that may have been wrong. Yeah, and that's something that courts have struggled with because these cases have popped up all over the state and some of them have been, um, you know, just the kind of thing that the critics of this law warned would happen. But I talked to one of the main sponsors of the bill back from 2005, Representative Dennis Baxley. He's a Republican out of the Ocala area. And um, he says that even despite this Trayvon Martin case, even despite some of the other cases, um, he believes the law is still good public policy. But he also says that he doesn't see how you could apply stand your ground to a case like Trayvon Martin where it appears that George Zimmerman pursued the person who was killed. Now, you know, he's not a, he's not a judge, he's, he's not the prosecutor, you know, in this case. Mm -hmm. He's just the guy that sponsored the original bill language. But I thought that was an interesting perspective coming from him. Well, I would agree, and I think that the fact that he does, Mr. Zimmerman did appear to pursue Trayvon may really open some people's eyes about maybe narrowing the focus of this law. Right, and that has, that issue, it's hard to say, you know, each of these cases is so different. And like you said, the law is being applied so broadly. Um, it, it does seem like there, it needs to be um, refined in some way. Um, it's just, it's not a good precedent to set, especially in a, in a tourism state where we want people to be able to come to Florida and have a good time and not worry about things like this. Um, you know, it, it, it just, it seems like it, it needlessly uh, makes people on edge.